This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo IdeaPad Y480 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on the Lenovo IdeaPad Y480 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make sure it's safe to work on, and that means removing all sources of power, which in this case means removing the battery. So in order to do that, we flip the laptop over. There's two levers above the battery on the top. So we slide both of them out, and while holding the left one outward, we slide the battery out and put it to the side, and now the laptop is safe to work on. And while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. You go to the Lenovo sticker on the bottom, and the first line says Lenovo IdeaPad Y480. Right there. Okay, we flip the laptop over again, and we'll take a look. Uh, for this and most other laptop computers, in order to get to the screen assembly, you have to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove two screws at the bottom, which are hiding behind some rubber screw covers, and that's where we start. But before we get to that, I'm going to show you the tools we're going to use for this procedure. First, we have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We also have a PH00 electronic screwdriver, that's for smaller screws, and a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and that's mostly to pry things open and manipulate cables. We also have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables also. And finally, an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife and that's to remove the screw covers and also to remove adhesive tape. So let's get started. That's the first thing we're going to do is use the exacto knife to remove the screw covers. They're hiding the screws. And I like to put the screw covers right next to the opening so I don't lose them when putting the screen back together. So we put there. And then we use our PH1 electronics screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom. One and two. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when the, we're putting the laptop back together again. Next step is to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And what I like to do for that is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and out and listen for the snapping sounds. That means it's snapping off. And in this way, we go all the way around the screen like so. Take your time on this. Sometimes this step is hard, sometimes it's easy. It just depends, but it can be done. And we can remove it. So we do the same thing on the bottom. Just go all the way, all the way around. And if you get stuck on a part, just come back to that part later. Remove it from other places and come back to it later. Okay, once we remove the screen bezel, we take a look at the screen. Uh, for this type of screen, it's mounted by some metal mounting tabs on top and bottom. So we have to remove four screws. Two on the top and two on the bottom. So we'll start with the screws on the top and we'll use the PH1 screwdriver. When you're doing this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. And that's so when you remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. So three, and once again I'll start a new pile for this set of screws. Okay, once we remove the screws, we gently tilt the screen forward slowly, make sure it's not getting stuck on anything, and lay it down. 
Once we do this, we take a look where the connector is, and it's at the bottom, and it's secured by some adhesive tape. And here we use our X-Acto knife to lift up the adhesive tape, not making sure not to damage it, because it's part of the connector assembly. Sometimes X-Acto knife is better, sometimes fingernail is better. So we gently remove the top, being especially careful around the connector area so we don't damage it. Once we do that, we peel the adhesive tape back and grab with both of our fingertips on both hands and gently pull the connector back and it's out. Now I'm going to briefly reconnect it just to show you how to reconnect it. When you reconnect it, you'll hear but not you feel but not hear two clicks, and that means it's properly connected. And pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, we remove the connector once more, and we take a look at this screen. This is a 14.0 inch LED slim screen, fairly commonly available. And the part number that you need for this screen is B140XW03. B140XW03, that's the only part you need. When you do receive the screen, most likely it will have a different part number, but it will be compatible with this screen. Now we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in the video. It comes for free with the screen. We also offer a two-year warranty on our screen against defects and we have a fast shipping from East Coast and West Coast in the United States. So uh, even if you order ground shipping you'll get your screen in three days or less. And uh, also we ship to most countries around the world. Just use the regular checkout procedure. And finally we have free email technical support. If you get stuck in the procedure somewhere, just send us email and we'll walk you through. Okay, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out where you tell us the laptop model number and your email. And then we'll provide you with a link to the right screen to buy it online and then just go through the regular checkout. Okay, once you do receive the screen from us, you um, connect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top and the two screws in at the bottom, then you snap the screen bezel on, put the two screws in at the bottom and there are plastic screw covers and you should be done and your laptop will be good as new. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.